Hey, welcome back. Um, I am apparently on a video recording spree. This video is going to be my January favorites. I have some great favorites and I'm just gonna step right in. Um, my first favorite is actually a birthday present I received at the beginning of January from my dear mom. My birthday was January 5th and she bought me the Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel bronzer. I love this stuff. She has actually gone through two of them well, she's on. She's work. She's almost done with her second. But oh, I love this bronzer. I'm wearing it today. It's a very subtle. You can make it very subtle. Um, it's just. It's just great. I use it on this brush here, which is also a favorite. This is the uh, Real Techniques blush brush. It looks like that. It's dirty because I used it today. And what I do is I keep this on it just to keep it moist. But swirl it around and just do you know, buff it everywhere that I would bronze my skin, and I just love this stuff. I used to think, oh man, why would people spend that much on a bronzer, but it's definitely, definitely worth the money. So if you want to splurge and you need a bronzer, check this out. It's the Soleil Tan de Chanel bronzer. It's great. And this brush is awesome. Um, I also used this with the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. Worked great with that. Works great with blushes as well. I highly recommend this brush. While we're on the topic of brushes, I'll just keep going. These are two brushes that I got from Walmart. This one specifically I really love. Um, this is the Royal and Langnickel Contour uh, BMD120. And I actually don't use this much as a contour. I use it to dip into like setting powder and like set, you know, right in this area right here. I use it for that. I've also used it for highlighting, but I have not contoured with it yet. But these are great quality brushes, very cheap. I actually, I got mine on clearance. I think mine was like three or four bucks, and it's awesome. The other one I have from them is the uh, multi-purpose powder brush at BMD 101. This is great. I use this when I want to like, you know, blend everything in. Just a big fluffy brush if I want to wipe away, you know, excess fallout. This is a great brush for that. Highly recommend it as well. Um. This is a brush that I got in an Ipsy bag. This is the Luxie Tapered Highlighter 522. I love this the shape of this brush. It's a, it's a really nice shape. I, as you can see because of the dark color, do not use this for blush. Uh, highlighter, sorry. I use this for blush. I just take it right there over my bronzer and just use it in my blushing area. Um, another blush product and brush is actually this is a this is a package deal I got this at Ulta on Black Friday um, I actually got one for my mother mainly for her and then I loved it so much I, I got one too this is from Lorac and this is Q the confetti highlighter and blush palette I don't see anybody talk about this but this is a really great product first of all the brush is awesome it is one of my favorite blush brushes it's just great it has a short handle it's got this like gold rose gold looking handle to it uh, fine brush hairs it's great for that location um, so the brush I think this palette I want to say is 36 I'm not sure you might want to check Ulta for it but then you open it up and you got all of these blushes and I primarily use the top two I use this blush which is called spotlight with um, this tapered highlighter brush sometimes and I'll chisel out my contour a little bit more just with this one here and then I'll top it with actual blush look right there it's just a pretty like apricot-y looking nude color I really love it this one's called tinge this is my favorite but they all apply great this one's a little bright for me and this one will be great for a summer corally color but this is such a great palette, and the brush that comes with it is awesome. Rarely do brushes that come with palettes, are they great? But this one's a great one. So if you're at Ulta and they still have this, check it out. It's a really good product, worth the money. Um, I have an eyebrow favorite. This is what I've been using for my brows. And actually, it's kind of funny that this is a favorite because I was actually doing a... Um, declutter and I was thinking about decluttering this because I never ever ever use it and I was like well let me try it one more time and I fell in love with it again this is the NYX eyebrow gel and the color I have is in chocolate 
and it just looks like that and basically I do it two ways I either take you know the brush that I'm gonna use and just dab it on the tip or I'll squirt out a little on my hand and then rub the brush through it either way works great the two brushes I used for this the first one um, I used was from Chanel and it's just their brow brush my mom gave me this brush it's just a really stiff little angled brush um, it's great for getting right at the base of my brows and swooping up I really like this one and um, that one was getting a little gunky and I wanted a brush to use between cleanings so I picked this one up at Ulta I think it was ten dollars it looks like that um, also just like a rough tapered brush um, this one just says brow on it as well great for that shape and you can turn it on its side to get the arch there so I've really been enjoying mainly this product with those brushes with it good eyebrow product product um, okay I have actually a fragrance um, favorite this month I generally don't have those very often and I cannot for the life of me say the name of the perfume so this is the brand um, Bottega Veneta I've never heard of it I don't think but this is great um, the notes in it are bergamot jasmine plum patchouli oak moss and leather accord and it smells so good it kind of reminds me not similar in scent but just along the same genre and lines of um, boyfriend if you've ever smelled that uh, oh man it smells so good I do get the patchouli and the oak moss and the leather and it's just something sweet with it really really nice um, this apparently is what the bottle looks like and I looked this up I think it's like $120 and while I do love it and it's a favorite I don't think I would ever buy the full size just because of how crazy expensive it is but I would buy a rollerball in it it's pretty good so give this a whiff if you ever see it I think they also make bags I don't know much about designer stuff so anyway I have a shower product um one thing about me not just because of the new year but I have been trying to work out more and run more and I know like I just come in all hot and I need a shower this is the product that I turn to this is the shower jelly from Lush called whoosh it comes in a tub like this and normally it's when you open it up and, you know flip it out it's in a mound of jelly but what I have been doing because oh that was a mistake <laughs> um, because I, I find it's really hard to use that way so what I do is when I first get it I cut it into little chunks little squares like little things like portion sized and basically what I do um, brought my scrubby down here I take a piece this size push it in my loofah and just squish it up in there and make it all squished together and then just it lathers up otherwise it's really hard to use and control in the shower because it wobbles and goes everywhere but this stuff's great it has a very bright refreshing lemon scent so if you're tired in the morning this thing will pep you up and wake you up it's really great especially if you keep this in the fridge and it's cool it's awesome um so yeah that's great and this guy is a surprise like because I have never used a shower poof thingy that had this texture of like an animal or anything on it and I was like oh this is silly my mom actually got this for me and I actually have enjoyed him being on there for a different texture if like mainly on my face if I wanted to like scrub or something he's been nice so he might be a favorite as well okay I have one more favorite it is not beauty related but kind of maybe and that favorite is my new duffel bag since I've started running at work lately well jogging let's be real I don't run um, <laughs> uh, I needed a bag to keep all my gear in and I found this one this is just like a duffel bag it's hard to get you in it's just a normal size duffel bag I'm really close to the camera so it's really hard to get it to focus but this is from pink it has like the little pink a pink logo right here and it's basically just a normal duffel bag it has two side one side zip pocket that you slide your tennis shoes in and it keeps like in its own little baggage area and the rest is just open space and it has one zipper here in the front compartment down here 
And it's just really awesome. I really, really enjoy this bag. Um, so yeah, that's another thing I've been trying to work out more at work before I come home because I find like it's hard to get the energy and motivation to do it when you get off work because sometimes you're just so tired. So I just do it at lunch for about 45 minutes a day. And if you want, I might actually be doing what's in my gym bag because I'm a very novice at fitness and I want to try to get better. So just showing you the things that I have in my bag might help you if you're interested in starting your fitness journey and want to know what you might need. But anyway, so that's been my January favorites. All of these things I've been really enjoying. I thought you might want to know about them. Um, if you would like to share your favorites with me, comment below. Um, uh, if you enjoyed watching this video and it's the first time you've ever seen me, go ahead and subscribe and you'll be set to get the next ones. Otherwise, give me a thumbs up. And until the next one, guys, be safe and have a great day. Bye.